global chaos from a faulty software update. The July outage caused by cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike resulted in more than 8 million computers crashed, leaving travelers stranded, with some airlines and institutions like banks unable to function. A stark reminder of the critical role machines play in today's world. Modern societies run on computers. Computers control everything. And as we saw here, when computers go down, our societies almost stop. A dependence that highlighted the potential for damage from a cyber attack carried out by a nation state, a scenario that's not that far-fetched. The U.S. says Chinese state-sponsored hackers have embedded into critical infrastructure with the ability to cause future disruptions, accusations Beijing denies. And countries like the U.S. and Russia also have sophisticated offensive cyber capabilities. But I think with the full-scale Russian invasion of Ukraine, it's really made everyone sit up and say, wait a minute, all right? Um, countries are at war again. Countries are invading each other for territorial gain again. And maybe states aren't just going to be stealing information. Maybe they're going to be doing these large-scale disruptions in a way that we really haven't seen. Those disruptions were a major talking point among the public and private sector representatives gathered at the recent Black Hat Cybersecurity Conference in Las Vegas. U.S. officials have called the CrowdStrike incident a dress rehearsal for what might happen if critical infrastructure is targeted during a real cyber attack. And that's the scenario that many of the experts and companies here in Las Vegas are trying to plan for. Here, San Francisco-based cybersecurity company OpSWAT performs a simulation of the breach of a nuclear energy facility. You really have to define a strategies to reduce the impact radius when anything like this happens and really look into multi layers of defense strategies so you're not relying on a single solution or a single layer of a protect protection. Well, some may worry that we're too connected, cybersecurity experts say the solutions involve more robust protection, not less technology. We are reliant on technology, but we can't go back and we don't want to go back. We don't want to go back and live in stone ages. The benefits we get from technology and computers and connectivity are much bigger than the problems they generate. But the problems are very real and we need to be fighting them. The CrowdStrike incident was a reminder of how fragile many systems still are. And the next time, it may not be a faulty update or human error driving chaos and disruption on the ground. Iris Bitzer, CNA, Las Vegas.